Royal Escape, naive Prince Harry and Meghan Markle fighting for the life they want. The royal family will lose its second and third member in less than five months at the end of March. The royal family is the most beloved monarchy in the world, with the Queen often being ranked as the most popular royal across the world. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will soon leave the royal family to pursue a life they want for themselves. Express.co.uk speaks with an energy reader about why this couple has been naive in their pursuit of the life they desperately want. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle dropped a bombshell announcement in January outlining their intention to leave the royal family in January. The couple will begin their new life at the start of April, meaning from that time they will no longer be able to actively use their HRH titles. They will also no longer attend royal events on the Queen's behalf or receive public money for their work. Harry and Meghan reportedly had wanted to use the Sussex royal brand name in the future but the Queen and other senior officials denied this. According to experts, the Sussex royal brand could have earned the couple £100 million to £200 million, depending on the brand endorsements they negotiated. The royal exit of Harry and Meghan shocked royal fans and experts around the world. In an explosive ITV documentary, Harry and Meghan revealed the pressure they faced in their roles. Meghan herself mentioned she had very naively misunderstood the level of scrutiny she would face as a member of the royal family. Speaking in the ITV documentary Meghan said, I never thought that this would be easy, but I thought it would be fair and that's the part that's really hard to reconcile. But this is not the only time, Meghan and Harry have been called naive for attempting to forge their own path. Royal commentator Omid Scobie hit out at the Duchess of Sussex for believing there would be a honeymoon period after she joined the royal family. Speaking on his AirPod podcast, Mr Scobie and royal expert Victoria Arbiter spoke about Harry and Meghan's motivations for leaving. Mr Scobie said, I think one of the biggest mistakes Meghan made, and I've heard this from sources close to her, is that she naively went in thinking this role came almost with an instant popularity. Meghan thought, you start in a good place and there is this, no matter what, there is a honeymoon period that comes with marrying into the royal family that allows you to falter at times, or figure something out, or whatever it is. I think that was one of the key things, and I think that towards the end she felt she wasn't given it by the press or members of the royal family, by aides or courtiers within the households. I think everyone somehow had this level of expectation from her from the get-go that was perhaps somewhat unrealistic, and perhaps she herself had some unrealistic expectations from the role too. Energy reader Alison Ward also said Harry has shown himself to be brave but also naive with his recent comments about leaving. She said, Harry has been as normal a royal family member that has been possible. He has seen the damage inflicted upon others by war and himself has been damaged by losing his mother at a young age and by the intrusion of the media. I believe it's naive to think by removing the supposed public interest justification for media intrusion. As the media will be more interested now in this royal couple. She added, I'm picking up that it's not an act of defiance simply their stance at their new life and what is acceptable albeit somewhat naive. I believe Harry knows the real world more so than other royals and would have expected a 12-month transition period as it makes sense and he is a logical person. Of course, the royal correspondents are going to say that, they wish to undermine Harry and Meghan as they have broken away from the fold. This is a new paradigm in the life of the royal family and quite frankly, they are peeved. Harry is his own person, as is Meghan. Together they will fight for the life they believe they deserve and desire. Harry has done his due.